Doing? So what we have here is the Harley Davidson uh, rear drum brake foot actuated brake system. Uh, it's using this crossover right here. That did require a different foot rod than would have been on a survey car. So this is an aftermarket one, but uh, OEM crossover. And they don't give you much room with the squish pipe. You see, you don't really want that pipe moving. However, if I go the whole way, I do move it a little bit from back here. Well, maybe not. It is very, uh, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to have to slam on the brake because right there it breaks. Uh, it's in there nice and secure now, as you can see. No brackets like the shovel head. It's all mounted by here, here, and here. This is what I was thought I had I was missing. So I got that assembled for now. I had to extend a hole here, the slot, so I can put this down flush onto the tank. And then there was a skirt here I just cut off since it doesn't really matter. I do have a speedometer somewhere. Uh, speedometer cable and drive. The drive comes off the back wheel over here. I do have the drive, the cable. I'll install that next. Bring it up to the speedometer. It's in the garage somewhere. This is an aftermarket switch I have backwards. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the dimmer switch on. Uh, when I don't put it in backwards, so I'm not exactly sure yet. I haven't looked at it on getting that dimmer switch to work proper. It's a dimmer for the dash lights. And then I got a uh, tank strip. Of course, it was an aftermarket one, so I have to tweak that. <laughs> so after that, I did get the uh, shift gate put on and uh, adjust the clutch and uh, linkage here. It's a pretty nice replica, if you ask me. I kept the original screws that were on it. I put this uh, trim on. I got the clutch in primary. There's a 12 volt coil I put on. So I'm going 12 volt. I do want to ride this at eight. It has a quick clutch. Press it down on it. Shift gears. It's a three speed. Battery goes here. It's an OEM battery. I did get an aftermarket top. Got to get a couple wing nuts I should have. Put that down. I did notice, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, this is a, uh, a sidecar model. It has a mount here and a mount here and one here. I'm trying to determine from the experts if that's factory installed or if it was an afterthought. They did have sidecars during the war. This, however, is a civilian model, but uh, you never know. Maybe I got lucky and got a rare model here. Remember, they had taken off the seat bracket. I had a raise that back on here because they had their seat bracket here and they didn't use the pogo stick they're probably using the springs here they've had a little solo seat and probably a different tank uh, I'm going with this kind of dash that I found it should have fit up a little bit north of, but it's good enough next thing I gotta take the handlebars and get the Spark Advance would be on the left side and the throttle on the right side. Get those cables put in over here. I even have uh, the head, the cylinder bolt loose so that this bracket here or this clip that gets attached there. So it has, uh, so it's got to, got to route that over. I got to take the handlebars off to do that. And I get the top motor mount to do, run the oil lines, but they've already all been checked. They're all clean and good and stuff. That should be, I think. Oh, there's part of the old pose. And then uh, wire it up. Put the battery in. Yeah, battery. I'm from Pennsylvania. And it should start on the first kick. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah, I got to put the points in there. Condense condenser. Oh, there's points in there. Okay, well, I got to set that up. I have a few distributors. I'm going to go with the manual advance. So I'm going to retard it when I go to start it and then advance it and it's up to speed. And this thing is all about speed. I think it goes 55, maybe 60 if you wind it out. I've heard they uh, went 65. Now you can change the sprocket. I do have a pretty high-end sprocket on there, 33 tooth. But uh, I don't think this thing is going to be about speed. I talked to my friend today, told him, sit down. You may not believe this, but... But, 
I may paint this. I'm not right there yet. So it's going down the road. Everything working and it running like it should. The paint's the last thing on my mind. I still have to. I'm not going to respoke the rear wheel, but I've never trued it yet. At least tighten the spokes down. Chains on, rear brake, clutch, primary, after the carbs put on, and the fuel shutoff is here. There's a little knob here that goes down into a rod. And it is a linker carburetor. Uh, after I adjust the manifold and get that all snug in and the carb, then you can tighten down the cylinder. And once you do that, then you can do the heads with the top motor mount. This way, that's the process and the uh, procedure, in case you ever want to know. So it is a uh, not a brand new oil pump. I rebuilt the oil pump and the scavenger pump. All the timing gears are in there and timed. I do have two generators, 12 volts. That's one of the reasons I went 12 volt. Hopefully they work. I won't know until I put it on and test it. The generator, this is a generator model. So no alternator, but uh, once you run it, you're running off the generator. Just gonna have a 12 volt battery that will look like a six volt. I'm gonna put it in here. I got an original battery cover. It's in there pretty good. Didn't mount to the fender. And I fixed that over here. So it's good. I still have a bolt here, I think for my toolbox. I think you can put a toolbox on this model. I'm gonna look in again one of them. Since I only have one saddlebag, I might only keep one saddlebag because of the saddlebag mount, uh, the sidecar mount here. I'm not sure. If I only have one saddlebag, that's period correct. So I'll probably put it on the other side and just for, you know, windbreaker, tools, whatnot. So, done a lot, still have a lot to do. We're getting there, just wanted to give you a rundown. 1945 Harley Davidson. Quarantine edition, order parts to your front door, build in your garage during your spare time, since uh, that's what you like to do. Talking to you shortly, hope everyone's having a great day, be well, stay safe, leave a message or don't, I don't care. And if I paint it, I'm taking uh, suggestions, what color, I'm taking red and black, blue and white being the secondary choice. but. Red and black might look nice, where it's like uh, red on the top or the bottom, black on the other, separated by here, same there, same there, like a two-tone. Alright, they'll be going down the road, don't worry, I'm not in a rush, so if I was in a rush, I would have just bought one. My friend Peter had one 11,000 running, titled 47, but... Uh, it's not the same thing as buying pieces and having it delivered to your door and fixing everything. And I really do like the pogo seat. It's super comfortable. Got a lot of play in it. With the auxiliary spring. Do have to get a seat clip from in there. Actually, I have one. There's a spring here. Looks like I have something here. I don't know what that's for. I guess, oh yeah, that's the speedometer uh, holder. Sp speedometer cable holder. A couple of little odds and ends. Of course, I'll be readjusting the valves. That's why I have the valve cover up. And I go to time it. So, that whole time and hold issue helped me up a little bit. Spoke the front wheel, held me up. Find some parts, help me up. But, you know, we used to build a bike in a couple hours on the assembly line. Uh, not quite the same thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching.